why you can't even say that. You never bought the accident, brother. Well, I said, which one is that? He said, him and your wife, they thought they were done. Because their last picture was warming up the entire university. From nowhere, one just come and I come on plant. Now I tell my wife, I say, I've been hearing of accident. If you get accident, bring you there. Don't go have any kind of accident. I don't care what you want to do. do. Anyways. Uh, you know, most times when you see a happy family, uh, you won't understand what goes into it. I'm also happy to say, and I say it everywhere, that I also belong to an exclusive group of men who their wife they control. And I'm happy for it to be like that. If now you, if now you they control your wife, congratulations. I'm happy for my wife to control me. I don't know about you, but whatever is working for you, let it be working for you. Me, let my wife be judge. Because I've done my survey and I've done my research, and I've discovered that there are more widows than widowers in Africa. You go to church now, you say, all the widows come out. If you see a number of people, you will run. But if you say widowers, few, very, very few. So I said, what is responsible for this thing? I started doing something. And I discovered that what is dispatching African men quickly. Because my father is gone, 17 years, my mama died. And he's not going anytime soon. <laughs> my father-in-law has moved. The wife died. The two widows are around me. So it's obvious to me that I'm moving before my wife. <laughs> because it looks like family trend. It's not like I'm complaining. I'm just saying, let it not be soon. Let me not be around for a long time, longer than my time. But it's obvious that that is how things are running. So I started digging into it. And I discovered that African man wants to prove that he's head of family. So you hustle, 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 hustle. You will not pack up. Then, before you know, they turn into manure. Your wife will not be getting younger. I'll be going to a mobile abroad. I said, okay, that is what is happening. Uh, I know what to do. So when my wife and I had our 20th wedding anniversary, yeah, 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 this year will be 23. Thank you. Thank you. I've been in the business for three years now. So when we had our 20th anniversary, I sat down and I said, uh, I believe in democracy and the rotation of power. I also believe in women empowerment. I believe that women should occupy their place in government. Having been the head of this family for 20 years, I think it's right for you to take over the leadership of the family and lead us into another 20 years. Yes, and take over the next 20 years. I don't want to dominate power. I'm a Democrat. So you lead this family another 20 years. I'll be the house husband. Look after the children. Clean the house. But one time you come by, whatever you want to with me, do with me, I'll be here. My wife said, you don't smoke. I said, no. I said, why are you running for your responsibility? I said, I thought women wanted to share power with us. I said, I played this front. So my brothers, anytime we women they complain, say they are not in power, my brother has scam. <laughs> Give them power, they no one take home. <laughs> because me, I have handed over, but they refuse to collect the mantle of leadership. <laughs> because the way I was moving, I thought she would agree. Because in the lineup of the things that I wanted to assume as my new responsibility, I added a mobile. <laughs> so my plan was once she take over leadership. I say, honey, you know you are the head of this family. Now that our daughter won't born, let me go for Mugo and go and serve them. While you take care of the family business, I'll go for Mugo in abroad. Because have you noticed?